All right, so now that we've looked at the two critical moves as you come out of your leg lift, we're gonna move on and look at another big area where a lot of pictures leak power in their pitching deliveries. So we're talking about the counterbalance and loaded stride. And this can be another area of confusion because so many pitchers are taught that they should get to that goal post or T position. And again, you're, you're, it's your pitching motion. It's about how you move, not about getting to positions. But basically, a lot of guys are in a hurry to get the arms up and lined up to home plate with the shoulders. And, you know, a good direction to home plate is important in your pitching motion, but it's more about getting your center of gravity and your hips moving towards home plate. As far as alignment to home plate with your shoulders, that really matters most at front foot plant. And we'll talk about that in the next power move. But what we don't want to do in this phase is unload early or open up early in our stride. And what you see with a lot of power pictures that differs from a lot of amateur pictures is how well they stay loaded and closed with their front side and their hips as they move down the mound. And the front leg and glove arm are basically, you know, they can act as a counterbalance. They can use to sit deeper into their back leg and get more leverage when they throw. You know, but pictures and, and words only get you so far. So with that, let's start looking at some videos. Okay, so now taking a look at guys as they move through their pitching motion, again, guys with different pitching styles, but how they use their glove arm, their front side, their glove arm, and their lead leg to help them stay loaded and closed in their stride. Okay, so this is where they're going to be kind of storing up power as they move down the mound and really use that front side for leverage as they uh, then go into rotation into foot plant. So watching Rosenthal here, Trevor Rosenthal. We watch him, okay, as he comes out of that leg lift, again, he gets that back leg engaged, getting the hips moving towards home plate. But if you looked at his alignment with the shoulders, all right, it looks like he's kind of lined up towards the third baseline here, okay? He's got that glove arm out in front of him towards the third base dugout. His front leg, you know, he's a guy who kind of sits back into it and sticks that leg out a little bit in front of him, which again is kind of that counterbalance that lets you get a little deeper in your stride. So you see this a lot with guys, especially guys who get lower in their stride with their hips allow their center of gravity to drop a little bit and really get lower. A lot of guys will stick that lead leg out. So that kind of counterbalance lets them get a little deeper there. Okay, and the glove arm being nice and closed here allows them to kind of stay closed and then boom, let that power, kind of unleash that power going into foot plant. So we'll look at that right here. Boom, you see at foot plant, then he's lined up to home plate. And this is where alignment's important, okay? But it's not important. What a lot of young pitchers mistake is uh, they think they've got to get totally lined up towards home plate early and you end up losing powerful rotation that way. Okay, so now let's look at our next picture, kind of show what we're talking about. Here we got Sonny Gray. Okay, so watch him go through his motion. Bring it back. All right, so he obviously gets that good early momentum, gets his hips moving towards home plate. We've talked about that. And really what we're looking at here, that kind of counterbalance and loaded stride. So he's pretty far out in his stride right here, but notice where his glove arm is. It's not out here in front of his body pointed towards home plate. Okay, his front foot is not out pointed towards home plate here. His knee's pointed towards the third base dugout. His glove arm, his glove's basically directed at the third base dugout. So he's really closed off with his shoulders right here and loaded up with his hips still. Okay, and that's really key for then unleashing that power late as we go into that next move. Here's where you see the hips start to go. And at foot plant, that's where alignment again happens with the shoulders. Okay, so that is something we're going to talk about in the next move. But you can see it happening here and how guys use that glove arm and front leg for leverage to help him stay closed here. And here we're going to look at Darvish. All right, we'll watch him go through his picture motion. All right, so looking at Darvish right here, you'll really see how he gets, kind of allows his center to drop. We talked about that before, that, that kind of sitting back into a stride, engaging the back leg. But what he really does is he's a guy who stays loaded real late. You see, he's a, he's a different style guy. He's a, a low picture in terms of his hips. He likes to get low and get his body moving powerfully towards home plate this way. And if you have the flexibility and mobility to do this, give it a try because it's real powerful. Not everyone can move like this though. You got to have a certain amount of mobility and flexibility to move this way. But what we're really looking at right here is how he uses his lead leg and front arm to help him stay loaded and closed in his stride. You see right here, he's out pretty far in his stride. His shoulders are like almost directed towards the third base dugout front knee pointed towards the third base dugout. So still loaded and closed up, closed off with his hips. Front foot pointed towards the third baseline too. Okay, so this is a loaded stride right here and then it unloads 
into foot plants. That's what we're going to talk about in the next video. But really what we're looking at here is how guys move out of that kind of sitting into your stride to then staying loaded late in your stride, closed off with the front leg and glove side arm. All right, and we've got Granky here. We'll watch him go through his motion. You know, we've looked at him before, but here we're going to be really key in on as he moves out of that that move of kind of engaging the back leg and sitting into a stride, how he stays loaded late. All right, so even right here for him, he's a guy who's a little more compact, a little more directed towards home plate. So he's not one of those guys that sticks the foot out like Darvish does. Okay, different style here. But if you look at his knee, still very loaded and closed with his hips. They're directed towards third base. His shoulders are closed off. And what you see with some guys, you know, young pitchers, they'll see this and be like, oh, okay, I want to be, I want to stay compact and directed towards home plate. A lot of young pitchers will have their glove arm or the glove out pointed at home plate right here. You see Granky keeping that glove more directed towards the third baseline or third base dugout. So he's real closed off and, and loaded with his upper half right here, his hips closed off. And that glove arm, boom, it's right into foot plants where he's lined up towards home plate. Okay, so that's really the key I'm trying to show with these videos. You want to be loaded and closed, and then boom, it's into foot plants where the hips unload and the shoulders are closed. And again, we'll look at that more in the next power move. But this is how you get there, that loaded stride. All right, so now we'll watch Doug Fister here. Different style, more kind of over-the-top guy, right? Boom, and I'm just going to bring him back. We'll watch him go through his motion here. And you can watch different style, but you can see as he starts that move towards home plate, how he's using that back, that front leg rather, kind of as that counterbalance to get deeper in his stride. And if you look at his glove arm, is he lined up towards home plate here? Or is he lined up kind of towards the third base dugout a little bit? He's keeping that glove arm out in front of him to stay loaded in his stride. That glove, that front leg is kind of out here. It's not going straight towards home plate. He's not in a rush to get the arm, that glove arm up pointed at home plate or get the front foot going towards home plate. And that helps him to stay loaded and closed in his stride. And then what we're going to talk about in the next video is that lower half unwind into foot plant where, boom, you can use that front leg and glove arm for leverage for more powerful rotation. You can see that happening right there. All right, now we'll look at Homer Bailey. All right, different style again. And you just watch him go through his motion. And we're just kind of keying in on that that same aspect, okay, as he's coming out of his leg lift, he gets that early momentum, and then you see him sitting into a stride, engaging that back leg, but look at his front side, glove arm kind of ported, pointed towards third base, lead foot, lead leg kind of out in front of him a little bit, loaded and closed with his hips, so his front foot is sort of pointed towards the third base dugout, front knee pointed towards the third base dugout, not in a rush to swing the front foot open or get the glove arm out towards home plate, which is what you see with a lot of young guys who are in a, a rush to kind of get things going towards home plate. They swing open with the front side. You really want to stay loaded and closed in our stride, and that's what we see with Homer Bailey right here. Okay, loaded and closed. That front side's nice and closed off. Front hip, front leg closed off right here, and then it's unwinding into foot plant, which we'll talk about again in that next video. All right, so now we're going to look at Ventura. All right, again, not a guy I would really try to model, especially how he finishes right there. Not, not something you would try to teach most young pitchers. But what we'll look at here is as he comes out of that leg lift, gets that early momentum, sits back into his stride. So he's kind of over his back leg, riding his back leg right here. Check out his glove arm. Okay, so he's really kind of using that glove arm for leverage to stay. It's like he's almost kind of trying to grab something out in front of him over towards third base. So it's that kind of load up, staying loaded up and closed off with his shoulders in his stride. The hips are closed off, that front foot pointed towards third base. And then that unwinds into foot plant right there. But this is that, that move, okay, as you're coming out of that backside power engage or sitting into the stride, staying loaded and closed in your stride is key for then unleashing that power late as you go into foot plant. Now we'll look at our next picture, and here's Kluber who's a little more kind of like your prototypical power picture under control in his pitching motion. But what we're going to look at right here, you see how as he comes out of his leg lift and starts to engage and sit back into his stride, 
Where's his glove arm going? Is it in a rush to get towards home plate? Is he taking his front foot directly towards home plate? He kind of gets that lead leg out there, which allows him to again sit deeper into his stride, and he's loaded up and closed off. That front foot is pointed towards third base here. Even at this stage, kind of getting late in his stride, still pointed towards the third baseline. Glove arm is out towards the third baseline, so he's closed off and loaded with his shoulders, and then it's boom into front foot plant. That's where the hips start to go, and the shoulders are lined up towards home plate. So hopefully, you know, these videos can help you see how important it is to, and how power pictures really generate power in their picture motion by getting their body moving powerfully towards home plate, but then maintaining that load in their stride, staying closed and loaded up in their stride, and then unleashing that power late. Okay, so that was a look at power move number three, the counterbalance and loaded stride. Now, one thing to keep in mind here, you don't want to over-rotate here. It's really not about rotating at all. It's about staying loaded and closed because when you over-rotate or turn too much, it can be easy to get offline and either swing that lead leg around and open up or end up too closed off throwing across your body. But what you can see here is how you can use your front side Okay, your glove arm, your front leg, to help you stay loaded and closed so you can move powerfully into our next move, the lower half, unwind into front foot plant.